it's JP Positive, and we're back going in with my new Mew deck. I did add Nilago GX, 180 HP. I'm not sure if that's how you say its name. It does have Symboyan GX. Add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to the prize card. So we're going to try and make our opponent get two more prize cards. Let's see what we can do, guys. We're going to go right into it with this deck. Hopefully, we can get a victory. For anybody that's new, please remember to check out that description for all the awesome giveaways and content going on on my channel right now let's see what we can do and let's get this match started are we going to be going against a tapu coco gx deck i do see that tapu coco deck box and let's see what we're going to be going against we are going first we did get the heads and win that coin flip and we do not get a mew but we do get a mew to gx so we can always ninja boy second turn and go ahead and get that attack started. Hmm. Mewtwo GX out up in front with 190 hit points. We will go ahead and click done. We are going to top Ulele GX. We're probably going to end our first turn. If we don't end our first turn, we will be using Ninja Boy for our second turn and bringing out the Mew so that we can start gaining energies onto our bench Pokemon. Then eventually, hopefully, we can get an Alaga GX up and we can hit our opponent with that GX attack and add two more prize cards into their prize pool. That would be pretty awesome. We are able to draw two more cards because our opponent did Mulligan. That's pretty good for us. And let's see, what do we want to do? I probably actually want to grab one of them out right away. So I'll discard my Acerola and I will discard a special energy. And we'll go ahead and grab one of these guys out right away. Symbol and GX. So let's try and get that ready. Hopefully, we can hit this max elixir. I'm really hoping that we could hit this max elixir. This leaves my opponent's Pokemon. Mine and my opponent's Pokemon confused and poisoned. And we'll attach one energy. Hopefully we can hit this max elixir, guys. Oh, we missed it. So we're not going to be able to get that next turn. We still have the option of using a Professor Sycamore. Uh, we'll throw the Floatstone onto our Mewtwo GX. We will lay lay. And we're going to... We could end, but we don't really need the end. I think we're going to sick more guys, get seven more cards. Hopefully we can get another max elixir and hopefully have this guy set up by next turn. And we're able to use his GX tech. That would be very nice. I do not hit another max elixir. And we'll go ahead and retreat our Mewtwo GX. And go ahead and end our turn guys doing 10 damage onto the top of Lele GX with that poison we're gonna need to bring this Pokemon back down to our bench somehow I did get rid of the ninja boy so we're not gonna be able to switch him out into a Mew and then throw this guy onto the bench that would have been nice we do see a Tapu Koko GX come up and a Fighting Fairy Belt does go on to the top of Coco. Our opponent does use the Professor Sycamore and seven more cards out of their deck. Are we going to be able to add prize cards to our opponent's prize section or not? That's what we need to figure out, guys. So, they do use that Super Scoop Up. They get the head, so they're able to take the top of Lele back into their hand. And now, what am I going to do? I'll go ahead and drop you down. Yes. And I will attach one energy to my active Pokemon. And I'll go ahead and end, guys. Hopefully I get another Psychic Energy. Hopefully I have a way to get rid of that confusion also. We do have a Guzma for next turn. And we do have the Mewtwo GX set up. So I think we're pretty good. As long as we don't get end, we should be okay for next turn. We'll see what happens. 
10 damage onto the top of Coco GX, 10 damage onto me from the poison. And let's see, are they gonna be retreating the top of Coco? Okay, so they are. They're gonna be using the ability from the other top of Coco GX and bringing him out as the active Pokemon. And they decide to concede, guys. So we're not going to be able. We'll be right back with another match right now, guys. Thank you guys for watching. All right, guys. This is my second match with the updated new Mew deck. It does have the Lago GX in it with 180 hit points and that amazing GX attack that allows me to take my opponent's two top cards of their deck and put them into their prize card section making them have more prize cards which is pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and try and get that started we do start off with him so that's pretty awesome but unfortunately we're not able to lay him down onto our bench or place him from our hand so that we can use that empty light ability which would confuse and poison our opponent's pokemon as well as our own pokemon We are going first in this matchup, so that's pretty good. And our opponent had no basic Pokemon, so we will be drawing one for the Mulligan. And Hoopa is what we are going to draw. We'll click Done, draw our first card. It is going to be a Rainbow Energy. So we'll just go ahead and attach one Energy onto our active, and we'll end our turn. There's not much else we can do right now, guys. Our opponent's not going to be able to attack the Hoopa because of the ability unless they do bring something out to block that ability from the Hoopa. We do see a Poltown in case I do decide to evolve there will be damage on my evolution Pokemon and we do see that Floatstone go on to that Espeon EX so it looks like they are going to be retreating it for somebody else. They're going to be using Professor Sycamore discarding their hand and trying to get another basic. We do see that Garbodor with the Garbotoxin. They probably will be able to get him back out with a Rescue Stretcher or something like that. We do see an Eevee come down to the bench. And they end their turn. So, what should we do? I'm going to attach one energy. And their second attack is 70 damage, which is not much. But it would do 140 with the weakness. So I actually am going to go ahead and Guzma. Because they are hitting me for weakness. I need to watch out for that. I will go ahead and Ultra Ball. I'm going to bring out a Tapu Lele GX, use that Wonder Tag ability. And bring out an N. I don't want to use Sycamore, I don't want to get rid of that Psychic Energy or that Special Energy that I do have in my hand currently. So we'll go ahead and pull out that N. And we'll wait to our next turn, guys, see what we can do. Are we going to have a way to bring up our GX? I don't have a way to retreat currently. I would need a floatstone. So when I end, oh, our opponent ends. So we'll be okay, guys. They kind of help us out. Hopefully, we do get a floatstone and a psychic energy. That would be awesome. Okay, so no floatstone. We do get the psychic energy that we need, and we do get an N. We probably could look for a floatstone with the Skyla. That's what we're gonna do because we wanna make sure that we use this GX attack, guys. We wanna make sure that we use this GX attack, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and retreat our Hoopa with a floatstone. And then go ahead and bring this guy out, use his GX attack, and add two prize cards to our opponent's prize section. They may be able to knock us out, and then they're just going to be at six prize cards once again. But we'll see what happens, guys. So we are blocked right now. We'll go ahead and throw this Mewtwo GX up. Throw this energy right here. The choice band is going to be going on to the Mewtwo GX. Throw another Mewtwo GX down onto the bench. Hmm. I hope I have a float stone. If I don't, I'm in a bit of trouble. 
Okay, I do have a float zone. And I'll go ahead and attach that to the Hoopa. And then we'll add two prize cards to our opponent's prize section. This is the attack everybody's been waiting for. Our opponent should have eight prize cards after this GX attack. Let's see what happens, guys. And there you go, eight prize cards. But they may be able to knock us out with Psychic. Oh, they conceded, guys. We made them get eight prize cards, and they conceded the match. Pretty awesome, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed. I just wanted to show that off very fast. I said that I was going to do a match tonight, and I did. I know lately I've been very busy, but I really appreciate everybody watching. You guys are awesome. Let me know what the favorite part of this match was for you guys or the last match. Remember to check out that description for all the awesome giveaways and content going on on the channel right now. Once again, it's JP Positive, and I'm out.